Refuge Daily. This is Mike Rogers again on a thankful Thursday. This thankful Thursday happens to be Veterans Day. And so we're uh, here today, I'm here today with uh, a couple of veterans. Um, and they're both from the veterans from the Navy. I got Mike Mashad with me and I also have Bill Blake with me. And I've asked them to uh, come here down to Patriot Point. Uh, this, is a, this is a place that was uh, put together or inspired by uh, another brother of ours who's in, in heaven right now. His name is Zach Mar Martinez. And so we thought that this would be appropriate time to uh, not only be thankful for today, but be thankful for our veterans. And so we're celebrating that and we have a walk that's going to be going on uh, later today at 2 o'clock. We'd like to invite you down here. Uh, but I wanted to ask these guys a couple of questions and let them give them a chance to share uh, from their hearts, and then um, we're going to take it from there. Okay. So, guys, I'll start with Mike. Mike, what was it like for you, and some thoughts that you might have of serving the military for the United States of America? You know, Mike, it was a great experience for me. It was it was during peacetime. It was the mid '70s. Uh, joined the Navy, stationed at Whidbey Island, Washington, and then I was uh, stationed uh, on two uh, two uh, uh, out of sea, out of seas, overseas on the Kitty, USS Kitty Hawk. So I was avionics, worked on A6s at the time. Uh, our purpose was to, to keep peace and protection on the West Pac coast. And uh, I just, I just loved it. My term, my term of four years. I wish I would have stayed longer, but uh, I thank the Lord for uh, giving me the opportunity of four years. Great, thanks. And Bill, what was it like for you? Well, not like Mike. I was uh, actually in service during the war, Vietnam War. Uh, enlisted in 1967, got out in 1971. So I was in for most of the, uh, most of the uh, uptake over there in Vietnam. And uh, when I got out, uh, went on to do other things. But while I was in the service, I was a boiler technician. I was responsible to steam the engines, keep the ships going. On a destroyer, and many times off the coast of Vietnam, we chased the Kitty Hawk, who was in flight ops. So uh, many times I would see that ship pull away from us <laughs> as, we were, as we were trying to keep up with them. But uh, I don't regret my years. My years of service, um, I don't hold any offense against anybody that didn't serve. Uh, I went in strictly because in 66, when I graduated, they were drafting everybody to go over there and fight, and I didn't want to be on land. I decided to be on the ocean, so I joined the Navy. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that stuff. You Both, guy, both of you guys had served for our country in the military uh, during times of war and, and if there is ever really times of peace, but in any case, defending our country for the defense of our country. And now you're serving the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, I, I, I asked if there was something you might want to share about that, if you had a verse that you might want to share, or uh, maybe even a prayer or anything. Um, and I'm going to ask Bill to go ahead and, and share that now, if you would. Well, when you, uh, when you first mentioned that uh, you wanted us to either have a, our favorite you know, verse or something like that. Uh, I did a little reflection on it, and I thought at this time, um, myself, I thought of um, Proverbs 10, 12. And it simply states, hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. And this was uh, a saying from Solomon. So I think at this time, it's appropriate to me think of that. Very appropriate. Yeah, very good. Thanks very much. And Mike, would you, is there something you'd like to share with us? Well, let me, before I say a prayer of uh, military and veterans prayer, I, I am encouraging like Mike Rogers did that uh, this spot, which is going to grow with the uh, with the blessing of the Lord, we were started by a gentleman, a Vietnam veteran, a Purple Heart, Zach Martinez Sr., um, I really encourage you, for all you veterans and, and families of veterans, to come on out um, to honor those who are currently protecting our country and uh, for, uh, continuously giving us freedom. So the, what I picked up today is simply this. 
Heavenly Father, thank you that you defend your people with your mighty hand. Please hear my prayer as I lift up our military and veterans before you. They work tirelessly to defend our country. Bless and protect them, Lord, and use their work for the good of our nation and your glory. May they know your presence with them at this time. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with them always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Hey, I want to thank you guys a lot, um, not only for your service to our country, but your service to the Lord. I want to give thanks and praise. Um, your, your awesome brothers in Christ and you're a great witness of, of what God can do in people's lives. And so um, thank you for spending your, your time here with me today and uh, for sharing with those people uh, Refuge Daily. Um, and we also want to give uh, thanks for Zach Martinez, what he did here by putting this thing for uh, uh, Patriot Point. It's a great place to come and reflect, do some reflection here in Huntington Beach. Uh, we also lost a brother this year, um, and his name is uh, Rusty Vogel. Vogel, he, he's, he's gone home to be with the Lord, but he also served in the military. And you'll probably see both of those pictures at the end of this uh, videotape. So God bless you. We hope to see you here uh, today at 2 o'clock for the Patriot Walk. Come on down for the, the ceremony that starts at 2. And um, we're signing out for Refuge Daily on this thankful Thursday.